party music. We're gonna break down this Mac DeMarco song right now. Hope you guys dig it. A lot of requests for this one. Uh, also, thanks for supporting me right here with what I do, Marty Music. I really appreciate you, uh, you know, subscribing to the channel, clicking the bell notification, and uh, that's it. Let's get into it. All right, this is really uh, a two guitar part song, two parts playing together, but it opens with well, capo on the second fret, <clears throat> and then we play the E minor chord. So this is the rhythm part that I saw him do live. So you got that E minor chord. And then we're going to go to what would normally be the 12th fret, but we can call it the 10th fret if you're thinking of the capo. But you can also see the double dots. We got power chord right there, then a whole step down. Then that dot right there, which, you know, how do you want to look at it? One, two, three, four, five up up from the capo then the open E right back up to those double dots holds that E minor longer and then the chorus for the rhythm guitar is a, a little piece of a G so it'd be th three and two and then a piece of A minor so you've got three and two and then ring finger up to the five index on the three of the A then that up a whole step then half step up, but that becomes major. So instead of that, it's that. And then the chorus ends on uh, this power chord right here on the fifth, fifth up from the capo. So you've got G, A minor, B minor, C minor. Fifth fret. Up down on my knees. Da, 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 and then finally back to the. to the kind of more fun interesting part i guess but you got to have that those roots of those chords to make this higher part sound cool covering those double dots again, which we could call the 10th fret up from the capo. Um, double dots on the high E and the B, and then a whole step down, which we could call the eighth fret. I'm barring it to hit that G string. Like that. Not really very hard of a voicing. And then you just take your pinky off so that index finger hits that high E there. Then 
and it's coming from this major seven voicing, but we're just going to play these top three here. And so, you know, depending on how you want to look at it, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine, E, B, and G. So you got... So then we just do the same thing down a whole step. And then what we're thinking of as that uh, G chord, it's just that third fret up and then the open D and G or the open G and B with it. then that E minor 7. You can play E minor if you want. E minor 7 though, and then... during the chorus. It's all based on this little D shape. Up. Think of the middle finger up right here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then you're going to add your pinky up to those double dots. And then that tension chord is you're just covering these. A whole step below those double dots, just across that. want to hear how <clears throat> it fits together so chorus part you can strum that D shape there and then pick from G to high E That's how you get through all those parts, so knock it out. All right, hope you guys enjoyed the lesson. Thank you again so much for hanging out with me. Feel free to request stuff in the comments below. And while you're down there, I appreciate you liking the video and subscribing here to Marty Music. Thanks a lot, hope to see you later.